The MIM-104 Patriot, which stands for Phased Array Tracking Radar for Intercept on Target missile system, is not new. It has been protecting the skies of various countries for about 40 years. A total of 240 Patriot systems are currently used by 18 countries, including the United States. The Patriot has undergone at least three large-scale upgrades and today it is equipped with guided Earth-to-Air missiles and is used primarily to intercept and destroy ballistic Iskander missiles. KH-47M2 Kinzel hypersonic aviation missiles and hypersonic 3M22 Zircon missiles The Patriot missile defense system consists of six major components missiles, launcher, radar set, control station, power generator unit, and high-frequency antenna mast. Number 1. The Patriot Missile The Patriot Missile uses ground-based radar to surveil, track, and engage targets. The Patriot is thus more sophisticated than the Stinger missile, which uses an infrared seeker that locks onto the heat of an airplane's engine exhaust. The Stingers are launched by a person who holds it on their shoulder after aiming and then firing the missile at the target. For the Patriot system's radar to be able to lock onto an incoming missile, it could be as far away as 50 miles, or 80 and a half kilometers, at an altitude of up to 20 kilometers. The Patriot currently supports two interceptor missiles, the Pac-2 and the Pac-3. The Pac-2 missile family is a successor to the original Patriot and Pac-1 interceptors. An upgraded variant, the Pac-2 Guidance Enhanced Missile GEM, was developed in the 1990s and featured lighter structures, enhanced propellants, new warhead fusing, and improved guidance to engage air and ballistic missile targets. The Pac-2 flies straight toward incoming missiles and then explodes at the point of nearest approach. The explosion will either destroy the incoming missile with the fragments from the fragmentation bomb or knock the incoming missile off its course so it misses its target. The Pac-3 missile is smaller in diameter and uses hit-to-kill technology. The Pac-3 missile is the same length as the Pac-2 but weighs only a third as much. The Pac-3 missile contains its own radio transmitter and computer allowing it to guide itself. Once launched, it turns on its radar, finds the target, and aims for direct hit. The smaller size means that up to 16 Pac-3 missiles can fit on a launcher, compared to just 4 of Pac-2 missiles. To achieve its higher maneuverability, the Pac-3 employs a more responsive airframe design and an array of 180 solid-fueled attitude control motors ACM, mounted in its forward section. The Pac-3 also features an active KA-band radar seeker for end-game guidance. Pac-3 can reportedly defend an area seven times greater than the Pac-2. After deployment of the Pac-3 MSE, the Department of Defense redesignated existing Pac-3 systems as the Pac-3 CRI. Four Pac-3 CRIs can fit in each Patriot launch canister. Each missile weighs 312 kilograms, a third of the weight of the Pac-2 family missile. The MSE is the only Pac-3 family missile in production and in 2017 demonstrated the ability to intercept medium-range ballistic missile targets. When a Pac-3 missile is launched, it actually hits the incoming target and explodes so the enemy missile is completely destroyed. 2. Patriot M901 Launch Station the Patriot system launches missiles from the M901 launching station. The stations include up to four launch canisters that can hold four different Pac-3 missiles depending on the type. 
This system includes an onboard 15 kW generator and is pulled by an M983 truck. Typically, a Patriot battery will include 6 to 8 launching stations. 3. Patriot Raider Set Unlike other air defense systems, the Patriot Raider is notable for combining surveillance, tracking, and engagement functions in one unit. As of 2019, 9 of 15 U.S. Army Patriot battalions featured an AN MPQ-65A Raider. The Army intends to replace the systems with a new Raider, the Lower Tier Air and Missile Defense System (LTA-MDS). LTA-MDS will possess 360-degree coverage and offer significantly further detection range. LTA-MDS is an active electronically scanned array and features amplifiers that offer higher jamming resistance, beaming agility and power efficiency over previous systems. Four, Patriot Engagement Control Station. The Patriot engagements are nearly autonomous with only the final launch decision requiring human interaction. The AN MSQ-4 Engagement Control Station ECS has two computer consoles and sits two to four operators, a tactical control officer, tactical control assistant, and communications operator. The tactical control assistant executes interceptor launch commands. The Tactical Control Officer approves targets and confirms appropriate rules of engagement. The Communications Operator monitors communications between headquarters and other batteries. A recorder may also assist the Tactical Control Assistant recording messages from the headquarters. 5 and 6 – Patriot Power Generator Unit and High Frequency Radio Mast The Patriot Raider and ECS draw electrical power from a separate electric power plant EPP vehicle, which includes two 150 kW generators. To transmit firing instructions to the launching stations, the ECS connects with a vehicle named Antenna Mast Group AMG, that erects two high-frequency radio masts. The Raider antenna scans the sky looking for incoming targets. Once it finds a target, it scans it more intensely and communicates with the ECS. The goal of the scan is to determine the speed and heading of the target and to identify it as a friend or a foe. When the operator or computer decides that it has an incoming foe, the ECS calculates an initial heading for the Patriot missile. It chooses the Patriot missile it will launch, downloads the initial guidance information to that missile, and launches it. Within 3 seconds, the missile is traveling at Mach 5 and is headed in the general direction of the target. How much do the Patriot cost? A newly produced single Patriot battery costs over 1 billion American dollars, with 400 million for the system and 690 million for the missile in a battery. One single interceptor missile costs about 4 million. Each launcher costs around 10 million, according to the Center for Strategic and International Studies. That cost may limit their use.